we are, man. We back. English majors. You know what it is. It's the English majors. We live at the headquarters. You know what it is, man. I'm, I'm in the office. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the topic for the day, I've been up all night, man. Watch a YouTube video after YouTube video. That rabbit hole get deep, man. First of all, don't never click on nothing that says it, the iceberg. If it say the iceberg, the conspiracy iceberg, and it's three hours long, don't you watch that whole shit, man. Don't you watch that whole shit. Subconsciously, you gonna believe some of that bullshit. And that's what we here to talk about today, man. Conspiracy theories, you see it on the board. You know what it is. Conspiracy theories, first of all, um, I'm not really clear what a conspiracy theory is because every time somebody says it's a conspiracy theory, that shit actually wind up being true. That's how the shit works. I think they use the whole word conspiracy theory to discredit ideas people may have. Now, some is dumb as hell and some interesting, but some is actually true. Black people conspiracies, that shit happened. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, the CIA, they, they brought that shit. <laughs> they was getting the dope from Nicaragua or somewhere, man. Pulling up with it. Ask Freeway Ricky Ross. Not Freeway and Ricky Ross. The one who named together. Because <laughs> you ask Freeway and Rick Ross, they might not know what you're talking about. It's Young Free. I never been to Nicaragua. <laughs> and Ross, I don't know, man. I don't know. He, he owed Noriega favors. Don't he? <laughs> Listen, man, conspiracy theory. And, and we done had some, man. We done had some. Hip hop, stop, man. Everybody cloned. Let's just, let's just go. Just rock with it. If they clone, if you clone me, please make the new me better. How the fuck they clone motherfuckers and they got worse? I think motherfuckers just like, that's the new frame, motherfucker ain't what he used to be. He, he got old. You get old now, you a clone. He used to not have wrinkles on his face. That's what the fuck happened, people. All right, man, we're going to get into these conspiracy theories, man. Let me know what conspiracy theories y'all, you know, what iceberg you done dive, dive in on, man, because it's some out there. Like I said, black people should be real. They got rid of Dr. King. The government did that. Cointel Pro infiltrated all that shit. Black Panther Party. All them shit is true. They had to pay Martin Luther King family, the federal government, for their hand in what they did. So, come on, man. When you hear conspiracy theories, I don't think we always just need to jump to, you know, the tinfoil, you know, the little hat community, the little, you know what I'm saying? But, but they there, too. Motherfucker be wrapped up like a little burrito. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the more conspiracy theories you believe in, the more likely you are to get struck by lightning. That's how it go. Take that antenna off your head, man. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, hello. I wanted to make sure nobody was listening. This is the conspiracy theory episode, man. So if, if this on your algorithm, expect a visit. Some, somebody gonna knock on your door, man, a white man in a suit, and he gonna have a talk with you. And just delete your search history before he get there. Look, I like what you did here, Jeff. Conspiracy theories, come on, man, another great board, man. Shout out to, Je this is, okay, so, you know, some of the more popular ones, because now everybody's a conspiracy theorist. Everybody on TikTok. Got a conspiracy theory. They don't, they just put themselves over the video and point to the shit that's being said in the video. <laughs> and then they. Now you, now you, now you telling me what somebody said. Get your ass out the way. There ain't no, like, all right, cool. So that's what we're doing. Of course, some of the most popular ones, airplanes. They're not real. Is that what that means? No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm fucking with <laughs> He just needed to fill up the space, but that's for the Denver airport. I get it. You just need to fill up the space, man. Oh, no, no, that's that flight that went missing. And that's the, the airplane on the picture? Oh, okay. What's the flight number? It, it ain't the one that went away, is it? That disappeared? 
Y'all don't know about the Denver airport. If you don't know about the Denver airport, man, go. That shit is. It, they say it's the Illuminati headquarters. They say the underground bunker. They got a lot of miles of tunnels, whole little city underneath there. The big horse, they got a big horse, a big blue horse with red eyes. That's a statue when you pull up to the thing and it fell on the creator and killed him. But they still put that shit up. They still put it up. They hosed it down and said, hey man, the show, what would he want? He made it. He died for this. Okay? Put this, and so they put it up, and it's up there, and it's got some glowing red eyes. And uh, yeah, look it up. It's, it's, and then the mural in there looks very, uh, how would you say, uh, fascist, totalitarian. Uh, yeah, it looks very scary and creepy. It's some Gestapo-looking men with guns and face masks. Similar to my man right here. You did, you did the best you could. That's a, that's a pretty... I can see it left an imprint on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, because when you see it, it doesn't add up. It doesn't quite add up. Why is that the mural in the airport? I'm going to get my luggage. What does this mean? Most murals should, murals should be whimsical. It should be uh, <laughs> smiling faces and... Words of encouragement, live, love, laugh. Uh, like, it should be, yeah, positivity. Don't put no shit. And the Denver airport is also in on this. Like, they have fun with the idea that people think. So you know when something's true, so motherfuckers try to overdo it like it ain't true? Ah ha! <laughs> Everybody handle your bags as a reptilian person. Ah ha! Just kidding. And then you see a motherfucker and they eye blink this way. <laughs> now you don't, now you just got to get the fuck out the airport. I think that's their goal. They, they goal is to get you out of there as fast as possible by scaring the shit out of you. So Denver airport, definitely questionable. Look it up, people. I'm not making this shit up. Show that horse again. What they call it? The, the, the nightmare, the, the blue nightmare or some shit. Come on, man. That's that shit from Ghostbusters that come to life. That's the gatekeeper. All right, what else we got? The moon landing. Was it real? A lot of people say it was faked. I don't, I don't. If they went to the moon, bruh, why the fuck they ain't going back? We should be going to the moon. You should be able to take your girl to like a day trip to the moon. The moon ain't that far away. How far is the moon? The moon probably like a five hour drive. <laughs> it probably take you like five hours to get to the moon. If you go when it's full, it's closer. If you go when it's full. <laughs> that's like five hours, depending on how fast you're going. Yeah, if you're going fast enough, you're good. How long it take the astronaut to get up there? But they, they in some slow shit. Because you ain't got to take no... Three days? <laughs> but they driving slow. Let me drive. Let me drive. I'm there six hours, minimum. <laughs> Let me push that bitch. Ain't no way. I don't know. I, I think at the time... Y'all was at, like, it, it is hard to believe. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all went to the moon? <laughs> oh, you went to the moon. We just, we ain't even got, like, TV ain't even really color yet. Like, but y'all went to the moon. They said, I, hey, I don't know. I don't know. They're going to the next thing, right? They're going to that, right? So, also, yeah, why we ain't been back to the moon? Because if white people went to the moon, they would definitely have set some shit up there. What was on the moon that made your ass come back? So that's the conspiracy theories I like. I like when they get into the little stuff. Like, you ever seen the pictures of structures on the moon that NASA released? Yeah. NASA be releasing some shit. They don't look at what they release. They take some pictures on them telescopes and just put the shit out there. 
For real. Then they come back and be like, uh-uh, that, that, that's a doctored photo. And they're like, we got it from you. And they're like, yeah, well, we did it. Sometimes we just Photoshop shit just to throw, no, no. Ain't no right angles in nature, right? So ain't no squares in nature, right? So no rectangles in nature, right? So if you see some shit that's a motherfucking rectangle, who put that bitch there? The wind and water can't warp some shit into a motherfucking square. It can round the hell out some shit. <laughs> it can smooth some shit out. But it ain't finna goddamn sh sh cut no sharp edges. So again, I ask you, what's really on the moon, man? For real. It's probably some black people up there. Let them come home. Got them black people working. That's fucked up. They ain't get rid of slavery. Slavery ain't dead. That shit on the moon. <laughs> and even if they ain't black, they black. You treat them black, and that's fucked up. Free them little big-eyed alien E.T. looking motherfuckers, man. Let them motherfuckers phone home. That shit crazy. Okay, so this is the flat earth, right? So it's just a dome over the earth, right? That's what they say? Well, what this is? The jetpack? <laughs> I'm asking, how? So we on a disc. That's what they saying. Snow globe, disc. I don't know, okay. And what that mean? This is a dome, right? So we underwater. That's what they saying. Because it's blue, that's right. That's what they say. They say you go up, you hit the firmament, you can't. That's what the conspiracy theorists say. You go up there, you can't get past it, so can't nobody go to space. So that go back to this, which means motherfuckers had to act like they went to space because they tried to go to space and bump their head and had to come on back. So what does all that mean, man? I don't rock with the flat earth. If you believe it, cool. But it's way other better earth theories. Hollow earth. A earth inside the earth. The earth got a little ass on it. It ain't flat. This is, okay, this is what you said, but this, it poke out. <laughs> it's got to poke, no, it's got to poke out, bro. We can't just be flat out there. It's still a circle, even if it ain't. If the top half the half, then what's the other half? How many times you seen half a basketball? You seen half a basketball? No. You can cut a sphere in half, right? You ain't never tried? Go home. Try to cut a dodgeball in half. You gonna cut your goddamn hand open. See? If you spend enough time with the conspiracy, the shit become true. Because, yeah, I, I go with hollow earth before. It's an earth in the earth. And it's another earth in that earth. It's infinite earths inside the earth. I rock with that. I take that. I take the, uh, what you call it, that the earth is, it used to be another earth. Super earth. Silicon based. We carbon-based, right? Okay. So silicon-based, that means everything was silicon. <laughs> no, but that means shit crystallized. That explains petrified trees, because how a tree petrify? It just get old, it turn to stone? Come on, man. That don't make sense. Them leftover trees from when it was giant, and they say that the mountains is stumps. These are all conspiracy theories. I'm not condoning any of this. Or believing it. But I told you, I went down the iceberg, so you fucking coming with me. We're gonna get to the bottom of this shit right now. The pyramids, why aliens had to do it, bro? X Files, that's that's real. It's definitely some motherfuckers that's they job to cover up shit. Bigfoot, that's white people, dog. That's just white people, bro. It is. Every time it's a white dude made a suit. Why Bigfoot always walking? 
He live in the woods. Why you never see him doing life shit? You ain't never seen Bigfoot just taking a the shit. They got the camera on him. <laughs> Every picture he walking, where's he going? Motherfucker walk away and just disappear. Come on, man. And then the white dude forget every time he put a suit on, motherfucker got a watch on. White people take pranks too far, man. I'm sorry. But you done created a whole animal out here. If they put a dick on your shoulder while you sleep, they most certainly will put on a monkey suit <laughs> and pretend that they found Bigfoot footage. We finally found him. <laughs> That's the next step, bro. If you find that funny, hey, man, it's, the, it's up. Hey, the Loch Ness Monster is real. Mm -mm. All right, so. Oh, we ain't even. We, we just talked about the big ones. We ain't even get to it, man. Come on, man. Let's get to it. Because we got hip hop conspiracy theories, too, man. What's y'all favorite hip hop conspiracy theory? Why that's crazy? Huh? You think he dead? Why would he not be in Cuba? Cuz, you can't be over here with this shit. You saw what the fuck happened? I would go to Cuba too. Niggas tried to kill me. <laughs> What's his name? Tupapi? Tupapi. Oh, then Tupapi! <laughs> to live and die in Cuba! <laughs> and I know Tupac! I know Tupac! <laughs> all eyes on me, that's all I say, okay! <laughs> hey man, if Tupac in Cuba, I think he still would have dropped some, some records. He would have just did it on another night. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Tupac was in the studio too much. My favorite hip hop conspiracy theory is anything they said Diddy was doing. Cause <laughs> I'm just saying, I ain't, I ain't, hey, he might have did that shit. Where does it end, Diddy? Who else did you fuck up in the game? I say this now, but Diddy, I don't want my car blown up or anything. All right, man, look, here we go, man. You see what it is. How many conspiracies have we already proven true? Just, just sitting here, right? So, all right, why do people need conspiracy theories? Listen, believe whatever you want to believe, but you can't believe that you have any control over any of this stuff if that's what you believe. What are you going to do with the information? Just give up? You can't do that. Sometimes people need motherfuckers to blame. Oh, they doing this shit. Well, hey, man, do what you can to protect you and your family, but you can't let the conspiracy theory thing take over your life. And everybody don't want to hear that shit, man. Sure, every now and then a good conspiracy theory, but a motherfucker that just everything is a fucking problem. It's, uh, it, what we going to do? See, you can't. I don't even breathe air when I'm out. I make my own oxygen at home. I don't breathe that shit y'all breathing? You don't know about chemtrails? Microplastics in the air, my brother. Aluminum sulfate so they can make Project Blue Bean appear to be your savior. You like, bro, I... So now I can't, now what I'm supposed to do, ask you for some oxygen? See, because my oxygen got sea moss in it. Well, can I have some? Because now I feel, I feel it. I, I taste the shit you was talking about. I feel the microplastics now. 
I don't know what we're supposed to do, man. What can you affect? They say all the food, GMO. All of it was GMO, dog. None of the fruit was supposed to look like that. Just let it happen. Grow your own. And then what you gonna do when pests get on it? How you keep the pests off of it? You gotta look the old shit. I don't know. I'm concerned about us as a people, black people. The conspiracy theories, they can't be to blame. You can't keep blaming the shit. Yeah, it's fucked up, and they did it on purpose. Start from there. Start from there before you start unraveling everything that happened. Yeah, man, it was designed this way. And I think some of us doing our best we can to unwind that situation. And I think we getting a lot further, man. We still ain't there yet, and they still doing shit. But, hey, that's my take on the conspiracy theory as a whole. So I say that so we can get into the wildest shit and the craziest was just off top, man. Um, some people just got dumb ass ones. The birds don't exist. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, bro. Like, I don't see how many people could dedicate that much of their life to trolling. Birds don't exist. They say birds don't exist because they ain't never seen a baby bird. Pigeons, they say pigeons especially. They say they, they, go, they government surveillance robots. Pigeons. You ever seen a little one? That's their whole argument. I ain't never seen no little pigeon. I, I don't know if pigeons are ever little. <laughs> I think pigeons are born that size. Pigeons might not come out of eggs. They might come out of pigeon pussy. You don't know. You don't know. Or it might come out the cloaca. That's the ass and the whatever they got. That's birds. Birds got. That's why they shit is watery, because it come out the same hole. Yeah. You ain't know that? Put that word up there. That's, that's for y'all. Yeah. Cloaca. Don't ask me how to spell it. You looking at me. Shrugging your shoulders. Me too. I'm confused. <laughs> you think I want to know all this shit I know? <laughs> all right, man. Mandela effect. Let's get into it. Told you. Why black people are always at the center of conspiracies? Mandela effect. They say we live in a different timeline because some people remember him dead before he died. White people, y'all don't even know what we look like for real. <laughs> now we supposed to base the whole history of Earth on y'all remember when a nigga died? Fuck y'all, man. Y'all, Berenstein Bears was always spelled like that. You was pronouncing it wrong. That's the shit they say. What they say, Berenstein Bears wasn't said the right, it wasn't spelt Berenstein. Because Berenstein, Berenstein would have been they would have been Jewish, right? Berenstein? Stein, Berenstein? Berenstein bears, right? They would have been Jewish if they was Stein. They, they ain't never had no yarmulkes. They was most Stein. They was Berenstein. Motherfuckers wore overalls. Barefoot. Country. Didn't even have no names. Brother and sis. <laughs> Damn, you ain't even name your kids. You took a big swing naming that first one, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't have no more. That's crazy. The Berenstain Bears? What else they said? What else, Mandela Effect? What else they said? Uh, Fruit of the Loom. You remember the logo? Cornucopia. Fruit was falling out of Cornucopia. Remember that? Ain't no Cornucopia. If you don't know what Cornucopia is, put that shit at the bottom. Man, it's that shit from Thanksgiving, man. Yeah, the little, the little basket with the, you remember that from Fruit of the Loom? No, you don't, because it, it don't exist. That's Mandela effect. Yeah, this gonna fuck you up. He trying to check his drawers. Now you get your, no. <laughs> <laughs> trying to check his drawers right now. I saw it this morning. That's what they say. What else, what else, what else? What else, they had more Mandela effect. I can't think of it right now, man. Come on, man. 
And so people say Fruit Loops. I always remember it being Fruit Loops. F R O O T. Now, the cereal. How you spell it? How you thought it was spelled? So we know what reality you come from. <laughs> I'm about to call the time police right now. I knew you was on the run. You a fugitive from the future. <laughs> yeah. That nigga on the run from the year 2080. <laughs> you remember it fruit? Regular fruit. Oh, yeah, you had fruit toasted those. That's all right. Yeah, yeah they, they spell that right. They don't try to get cute. When the, <laughs> when, when the name, when it's off brand, they, <laughs> they save all the little cute shit, which is, hey, they are crispies. Not rice, not j just crispies. <laughs> but okay, why they say the Mandela effect happened? Mo conspiracy theory shit. What they doing at CERN? So CERN is the big hadron collider, right? Spins particles around real fast, collide them bitches, and makes many big bangs, right? They started going crazy with that bitch. What, 2018? I think they probably cranked that bitch up. First of all, you got to understand, it's a big-ass machine. It's miles fucking wide. And they create big bangs and then study what the fuck happens, and people say that that's when we got a different reality. And that's where the Mandela effect come from because some of us remember it one way and other people remember it another way. Oh, Sinbad, that's the other Mandela effect thing. They say he was in a movie called Shazam where he played a genie. Yeah. Shaq was in Kazam. Absolutely. That's what I know. See, now come back with us. You might be from here. <laughs> now you back. See? Sometimes you got to bring him back. He was, but now he's here. Because ain't no damn Shazam with Sinbad. <laughs> but people keep swearing up and down. They seen Shazam with Sinbad and woo woo. Sinbad then came out and said he ain't make no movie called Shazam. And they would argue with him. You know how crazy you gotta be to tell a motherfucker he didn't do the shit? He had the career. He wasn't even no like drug user comedian. Like he forgot what movies he did. Man, listen. He even did a, uh, what is it, April Fool's Day prank and act like he. He, he, they re-recorded it. This was from a while ago. And people try to pull that up and use it as a thing. But, hey, Mandela effect. Why, why are black people always at the center of the conspiracy theory? I think it's because we question shit. Naturally. We just not going for anything. You can't just tell us some shit happened that don't make sense. Right? We not going for none of that shit. The whoopers we used to get, you had to have your lie together. That's why, that's why the conspiracy theory, the government lies be sloppy. They ain't never really had to lie like we had to lie. Like we had to lie. Like if black people was in charge of conspiracy theories, oh, you wouldn't know nothing. Aliens, they here. They been here. They had to be. Because people get in, if you could go to another planet, like think about it like this. Earth's got to be like the, the wildest planet left. If you could travel through space, we can't. Not for real. This would be like goddamn Mexico. Aliens come down here to watch us fuck. It's some freaky shit. Y'all want to go see what the Earth talking about? Hell yeah, man. You can drink like a motherfucker down there. They done outlawed alcohol in the rest of the goddamn galaxy. Earth, though, yeah. Don't raw dog down there, though. You go get something. We back again, man. It's your boy Clayton English, and we right in the summer, man. It's a good time to get down with prize picks, man. They make daily fantasy made easy, man. It's the summer. You know we got the Olympics going on. You ain't even got it. Maybe the Olympics is not your thing. It's still so many things going on, man. Come on, man. We got baseball going on. We got the ultimate slap champ where they be slapping the hell out of each other, man. They got money on that. We got plenty of fights. We got 
basketball, I think they probably still doing some stuff out there in the G League. When does Big 3 crank up? Ain't the Big 3 coming soon? Come on, man. It's so many things out there for you to make something happen. And just to help you out, I'm giving you a code. English majors, what they're going to do is they're going to match up to $100 on your initial deposit. Pay attention to what I said. They matching $100 on your initial deposit. You put in $100, they going to match $100. Now you're working with $200. Now you done won something. If you know what you're doing, it's not hard, man. It's daily fantasy made easy, man. Go ahead, man. Prize picks. It's a dirty little planet now. <laughs> hey, that's that's the other thing. I don't think I don't think aliens gonna just be the, the way we want them to be. No way. Oh, you got another one. See? You done went down the rabbit hole, Sonny? <laughs> Mickey Mouse not wearing suspenders? You saying that's another Mandela effect? That motherfucker ain't never had no suspenders? Where you from? Which future you from? I'm asking. I'm for real. Before we get out of here, we scanning everybody. Because some of y'all some goddamn clones. You got to be. Next thing you going to tell me Curious George had a tail. He had a tail? He was a monkey? Wow. He was a monkey? Yeah. Wow. Black man to black man. <laughs> we must do better, my brother. Wow. Curious George was a monkey. Yeah. He's a chimpanzee, man. You right. You right. But I bet you that ain't how the song go now. So who had it? The planet's peanut man had it. So the monopoly man just had a mustache. The rest of his face was naked. That's Cap. Somebody had a monocle besides the peanut man. OK, so did the peanut man have a cane? All right, we tested motherfuckers now. We about to see now. Some of y'all ain't even eat them kind of peanuts. Planters. You ate lands. 50 cent peanut. <laughs> Give me two of them 50 cent peanuts and a ginger ale. That used to be a black man lunch. All through the struggle. Okay. What y'all know about the, uh, what you call it, the heart? Conspiracy theory, heart controlling the weather. Oh yeah, harmonic assonance, resonance, something. It's up in Alaska, man. I know what I'm talking about, but I gotta act like I don't know so I could go home at night. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, they, they control the weather. But they can shoot it up into the atmosphere, but they can also shoot it into the earth. Yeah. That's what I heard on the video. <laughs> Put the shit up so I can point to it. Yeah. It ain't doing no research. It's big as hell. And that shit, tsunamis come up out of nowhere. Ask them if they turn that bitch on. Huh? It's broke. <laughs> That's the kind of lies they be coming up with. All right. It wouldn't be conspiracy theories if we don't talk about clones. So, shout out to Orlando Brown, because he say everybody's somebody else. And, 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 that, and that my boy from That's So Raven? Yeah. He say everybody's somebody else. I think he said a soldier boy was Whitney Houston. I don't know what he meant by that. <laughs> Sometimes you get high and be agreeing with the wrong shit. I was like, I could see it. I'm just asking, man. So we cloning people. Clone Tyrone, right? But 
Who we cloning again? Gucci Man? Why did Gucci Man need to be cloned? I don't, I'm just saying, I don't think he was bucking the system. Like nothing crazy, like you know what I mean? Like average shit for a rapper. He's out of control. What, because he keep dropping mixtapes? <laughs> why would they need to clone, why would they need to clone Kodak Black? The other one that came out, he don't listen either. He's still wilding. I'm just not understanding why everybody goes so quick to the clones. How much does a clone cost? We, they can do it. We know this. You got to know they can clone people. They cloned that sheep in like 96, right? You don't think the technology doesn't advance? They can definitely clone people. If you can choose the eye color of your baby. You understand what I'm saying? If you could customize features in the genetic shit before the baby is even born, there ain't no reason they can't make another one of you. But you probably got to be worthy to make, make, don't make the same motherfuckers, man. Because I'm sick of these people's faces. We need some new faces. That's the only good thing about people being mixed. You're going to get some different features. <laughs> get a Negro nose on a white woman. It's kind of bad. <laughs> she look exotic. <laughs> That's the only way you're going to make it work. What's up, man? You in here? Yeah, come on in. Conspiracy theories. We just talked you up. We know they sent you. Yeah, yeah. One out of six is an operative. That's what they say. I'm bullshit. We don't believe that. You can't work for the CIA wearing no jogging pants all the goddamn time. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't dressed to do <laughs> official business. <laughs> you whip out your badge out of some jogging pants. Nobody gonna listen to you, bro. <laughs> Hold it right there. Man, if you don't get that shit out of my face. <laughs> all right. We out of here, man. Oh, my last favorite thing. This is my favorite conspiracy theory to look at. Cryptozoology. Animals that they didn't think existed that actually do fucking exist. The best shit in the world. They done found a few things. But unfortunately, the bullshit go in there, too. So for every extinct fish that they find in the ocean that they thought only existed prehistoric, that they actually find and find out is real, you also got a motherfucker that say it's a wolf man outside of a small city in Michigan. You know what I'm saying? So you got the good with the, with, like motherfuckers actually find animals that, hey, we thought this shit didn't exist no more. We found this bitch. <laughs> and they need to find some more animals because we run out of shit to eat. <laughs> they bringing back woolly mammoths. I hope it's for the meat. I hope it's for the meat. I want, I want one of them Flintstone, bah, 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 one of them big ribs <laughs> that tip your car over. You know what I'm talking about? When they brought that shit out, that motherfucker ordered that bitch and then flipped the car. That's it. We need that. Everything else they putting in the food, fuck it. We already eating fucked up food. It's too late. It's too late. The shit you think good, it ain't good. Remember you thought milk was good. Do a body good. No, it don't. Make your shit on yourself. <laughs> Talking about make you strong. The fuck am I intolerant? How many other foods are you intolerant of? Not allergic, intolerant. <laughs> Your body throw a fit if this shit get in you. Intolerance is crazy. That's crazy. All right. I think we hit all these. Yeah. How many, how many, more, how many more conspiracies are there? It's plenty. It's plenty. 
Honorable mention. The Bass Pro Shop in Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. Eighth biggest pyramid. Eighth, if I'm not mistaken. Eighth biggest pyramid. Memphis. Not in Egypt, Tennessee. It's a Bass Pro Shop right now. Or I don't know if it still is. I take that back. Started out as a stadium. Started out, I think, a college played there or some shit. Dude supposedly buried some skulls in the groundwork for the shit. It's a lot of weird, like, yeah. 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 Definitely an honorable mention, man. Like I said, don't invest too much of yourself in the conspiracy theories, because do I believe that they are? I believe that they're just theories that actually come true. I believe that they're theories that people are actively trying to cover up. But as for me, I don't believe in conspiracies. I actually believe in the opposite. I say this every time, man. A prospiracy, man. I believe that the Lord and everybody that I know and all my ancestors that went before me are conspiring to make sure shit work out in my favor. So that's how I look at my conspiracy. So is that a prospiracy? Because it's times I, I couldn't have made it. You know what I'm saying? It's times I shouldn't have made it. And I know it was nothing but the Lord. So if you believe in one, you got to believe in the other, right? So while they conspiring, they let them keep doing it. People conspiring for me. You know what I'm saying? The Lord conspiring for me. He worked. I know it sometimes. I know it's, it's personally my grandma did that. You understand what I'm saying? You know how your grandma helped you? Like, your grandma may not be here no more. Your parents may not be here no more. Different people may not be here no more. But little things that your grandma do, it don't stop happening, man. Remember your grandma, you go see her and she press that little money in your hand, right? Sometimes you make some money out of nowhere, right? That's her pressing that little money in your hand, man. I get a good little check in the mail I wasn't even expecting. When I need it, that's her pressing that little money in your hand. It don't stop. So I don't really worry about conspiracies. I don't fly to the Denver airport no more after this, but I know they gonna have me on the list or some shit. This episode, classify this episode, blur out all the shit. We gonna do, we gonna do it like, you know when they do FBI documents? Like after they kill a civil rights leader and everything be redacted, like with blacks, like we gonna do that. like. For this whole episode, for the for thumbnail. Don't let them see what we talk. Don't, don't, please. Block all this shit out. Yes, we back. Live from the headquarters, man. English majors. You know what it is, man. Here we are. We still in conspiracy theory episode. And right now, it's that time, man. Questions and advice. Trying to help people out who need helping out. Let's go. First one right here, man. I feel like you care about politics. Since Trump can still run for office with all those charges, what do you think this country will look like if he's elected? Shit, the same. It look like it now. First of all, man, I, hey, do I want him in office? Absolutely not. But the people that support him still gonna be supporting him, still acting how they acting towards any type of progress people trying to make, you know? And, hey, man, he turned it into an event, and I don't think the Democrats got with the program, man. It's, it's wrestling now. You got to talk more shit. You got to be theatrical. Biden, you doing your speech, you might need some, some, some fire to fall down on your ass. Some sparks every time you say America or some shit. I don't know, bro, but you have to spice it up. Because Donald Trump just give him sound bite after sound bite, even if the shit don't make sense. He say the shit. He was going into court the other day, that motherfucker yelled back like, no cap. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> motherfucker was in the Bronx, had rappers up there. Man, look, man. 
If, if drill rappers is what's gonna make you vote, bro, you you might I don't know, bro. You might not need to go down there. I'm just saying they gonna ask you for your ID. I'm trying to understand, man. I think the country. I mean, it's already looking like that. We already looking like idiocracy. If you ain't never seen that movie, that was a good indicator of the future and what the shit finna be. And yeah. Basic, everybody a dumbass middle schooler as far as mentally. And that's part of the fault, man. Hey, man. Old people want to do the young people shit. Young people do not want to do that old people shit. <laughs> that's weird difference. What else we got, man? Any more? I hope I answered that question. I did to the best of my ability. I know you would probably like a positive answer or some shit, or I don't have the answer, man. I can't look to somebody to lie to me other than somebody that's gonna lie to me the way I wanna be lied to. That's what you're getting. Stop looking for the truth. Stop looking for somebody that tell you the truth. I had more money when he was in office. If another man control how much money you able to make, then you probably living your life wrong. <laughs> if you waiting for somebody to give you some money for some shit just because I, my money's never been affected by who was sitting up there. Did Obama make shit easier? I don't know. I got fired twice during Obama's presidency. <laughs> I might have lost money, man. I think he set the standard pretty high. <laughs> I, I was doing my best Obama impression. <laughs> I told you. They fired me. I came in. My lineup was too clean. My lineup was crispy. Not today, but the day I went, I was cold in the motherfucker. They want you with your shit rounded. They want you with the Eddie Winslow haircut. <laughs> Put up Eddie Winslow with that bullshit on his head, man. <laughs> Only person beat Eddie Winslow haircut is my boy from Power Rangers. The black boy with they hey, man, hey, hey. You should never feel a motherfucker line you up like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel that, punch him in his face. All right, what else we got? Go to uh, Jeff. Which one is that? The one before that? Oh, oh shit. Uh, oh, God. Okay. My bad. Okay, bet. Here we go. Ready? All right, here we go, man. Gina from Chicago. She said, hey, Clayton, what's up? My dad just retired and has been spending a bunch of time online. Now, every time I go see him, he's telling me about a new conspiracy he read about online. I love my dad, but this is getting on my nerves because I just want to talk to him about regular shit. Do you, do you think I should be worried about this at all? Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> uh, old people is susceptible. They be falling for anything. Just make sure he ain't sending his money off or nothing. Make sure he ain't tricking off. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that that be the problem. Like a lot of times they catch people slipping like that because they believe in the shit and they want you to invest in the, you know, see what Kickstarters he a part of. <laughs> you know, you got to be careful, man. And look, he ain't read about them conspiracies online. He watched the video. We just gonna be real. <laughs> he didn't read, you said he read about these conspiracies online. Hey, no, the fuck he did, he pointed. <laughs> he pointed while another motherfucker listened and he, he's he spitting. That's what he did. There is no, listen. Old people, too, they watch all of it because now they just discovered the internet and they can see whatever the fuck they want to see. And so everything be in a bubble. My mom does this, too, sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And she hit me with the shit. Did you know? And then I have to say, that ain't true. Because the internet will kill you, even if you ain't dead. 
Look at how many people they had killed that wasn't dead. And you know what we got to do? As our parents' children, we got to explain to our parents that, no, they ain't dead. <laughs> but it's saying right here, listen, I'm with the person right now. On set. <laughs> they alive. Well, I'm glad they came back. They didn't come back. <laughs> they didn't go nowhere. If you keep looking at shit, you're going to believe it. It's just that simple. I hate to say, man. And I, hey, just tell them to do some outside research too, man. There's nothing wrong with exploring the what ifs and possibilities and what could be, but when you start letting it influence your life and what you do and it'll affect you financially, that could be a problem. So look out for your dad. I don't know, maybe put the child locks on the computer. You know how they got uh, little kid YouTube? They need old people YouTube. <laughs> Just shit they want to see. Old 60 Minutes <laughs> episodes. A bunch of westerns and shit. Shit they like. Shit for old people. Old talk shows. Not the new shit. Donahue. Sally Jesse Raphael. Old shit. Matlock. Matlock Platinum in the hood. Your grandma was on Matlock and Columbo. Any one name white man she was fucking with. Perry Mason. Perry Mason. That's two names, but Perry Mason was that motherfucker. So was Andy Griffin. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We got any more? Yep. What right you got? Me. All right. So someone wrote in. Now that... Now we all know people in the government plant things and ideas on us, intentionally and non-intentionally, but how can you explain the Simpsons predicting all of America's past truths? Joey from New York. Oh, the Simpsons. We ain't even get into the Simpsons conspiracy. I think, honestly, at this point, bro, it's just... It's so much Simpsons. Like... How many seasons? What were they at? Season 48? They seasoned up. The shit been coming on so fucking like. 35. Season 35. 35 seasons. 35 years of doing jokes and cartoon shit. Like at some point, it's gonna be some overlap. But also, hey, with the conspiracy people, a lot of their writers come from some prestigious universities. Harvard, what's the Harvard? Skull and Bones, right? They say, what, most all presidents were a part of this in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Right? Oh, the light went out. See what happened with the truth? <laughs> Start getting told. They'll cut the lights out on you. I can keep going, but I want the light on me for this part. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, just that quick. Oh, yeah, we're back to the... So, yeah, a lot of writers from Harvard. Conan O'Brien used to be a writer for them. That might be a question for him, man. I think it's just really that they having so many swings of what would be funny and... The real world, actually, man, the longer it keeps going, the more we lean to the absurd of everything. Because everything is going to the extreme. You know? Everything is going extreme for as far as capitalism, consumerism. Everything is going extreme as far as, as everything. Any movement now is way more extreme than it was, what, 35 years ago when The Simpsons started? So if you got people coming in that's paying attention to what's going on, I, I mean, I, I think they might be able to predict trends. But I don't think, I ain't watched The Simpsons in so long. Somebody has to tell me that this happened on The Simpsons before it makes sense. I don't know all The Simpsons coincidences, so I didn't get into it. But yeah, man. Also, shout out to The Simpsons, I guess, man. They, they stopped doing other people's voice. <laughs> And stop letting white people do other 
black people are other characters' voices. Is that good, though? I, yeah, but I don't think they get black people to do it. I think they just kill it off the character. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to hear me talk? Then he won't say a motherfucking thing. <laughs> I, I don't know. I apologize to the Simpsons if that's the case, but... Well, fuck y'all. Y'all been on 35 years. Y'all could have hired some niggas. <laughs> have they ever had some black voices other than a celebrity guest? Regularly? Yeah, they had to. What's my boy? He do all the voices. Phil Lamar. Shout him out. Oh, that's it? Well, shout out, Kevin. Michael Richards. All right, we got more? What we got? All right. So, odds Hold are... Hold on. This is Sonny talking, everyone. Okay? I know. She just sounds like she coming out the clouds. <laughs> she sounds like the radio lady from the Warriors. Evening, boppers. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. All right, let's do it. So, odds are presented by Prospects. Oh, of course. Let's go. NASA is saying that humans will inhabit the moon in our early lifetime. Do you agree or disagree? Are you over or under on that? Man, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Ain't nobody going to the moon. You ain't, you ain't paying attention? Where are Elon and them trying to go? They trying to go to Mars. Something wrong with the moon. <laughs> the moon is a fucked up... Like, it's, it's like one of them Zillow houses that look good. Like, you look up a place and you're like, this shit look, what's wrong with it? <laughs> and then you get in there and you're like, oh, shit, the whole place is mildew. Like, you, it's something you can't see from, from where we at. But once you get up on the moon, something wrong with that bitch. Obviously. I don't think there's no reason you would skip straight to Mars. You understand? They're like, let's see if Mars is inhabitable. They're like, what about the moon? And they're like, yeah, go up there if you want to. <laughs> You go up there if you fucking want to. So, no. We taking the under on that. You lucky if there's a few motherfuckers up there. If they up there, they, they on some bullshit. I tell you that much. Motherfuckers hiding out, laying low. Ain't, no, ain't shit good on the moon, man. Ain't shit good on the moon. You said what? The dark side of the moon? That's the worst side. Why the dark side gotta be the worst? That's where all them black people at. Let them black people go on the moon, man. Free them. Free them. They said they call grays. That's what they call the people that work on the moon. They the big-eyed aliens. <laughs> I seen them one time. I ain't want to tell nobody this, but, you know, I'm not going to start now. But I seen them one time. We out of here. Odds are presented by prize picks. Ain't nobody finna be on the moon. 